What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next question, dealing with function notation. So we are given f of x, which is equal to two minus five x, and then g of x is equal to three x minus two. And we have to find the value or the values of x such that f of x squared is equal to g of five over three x minus two. So notice that ultimately we're gonna be solving an equation right here. And we're told that f of x is equal to 2 minus 5x. And so f of anything that we plug in here, we'll have to plug in for this x. So for example, if we were finding like f of 3, we'd have 2 minus 5 times 3, right? And then we get a number here. So following that same process, notice what's f of x squared going to be? Well, we would just plug in x squared for the x value for this bracket over here. And so this is f of x squared, so that's going to be the left side of this equation. So I'm just going to write here 2 minus 5x squared, like that. Now let's work with this right side. So notice that g of x is equal to 3x minus 2. So for example, if we were finding g of 5, it would be 3 times 5 minus 2. So whatever goes here goes in for that x value. And so notice we're going to plug in another expression here. So we'll have g of 5 over 3x minus 2. So we got to plug that whole expression into this x value. So you would have 3 times 5 over 3x minus 2 minus 2, like that. Right, this minus 2 is this minus 2. And then for this x value, for this bracket over here, we plugged in that entire expression, 5 over 3x minus 2, 5 over 3x minus 2. And so this ends up being the right side over here. So I'm just going to write it all out. We could simplify it here as well, but I'll just simplify it all in the equation like that. And then from here, it's just an equation. We just have to solve for x. So notice here, we got to distribute. So what's 3 times 5 over 3? Notice the 3s would cancel out, so we would just be left with 5x there. And then 3 times negative 2 would be minus 6. Then we'll have the minus 2 over here. This left side will stay the same. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everything over to the right side just because the leading coefficient here is negative. So just to keep it positive, I'll bring everything to the right side. You can bring everything to the left side though and then divide everything by negative 1 if you want to. I'm just going to bring everything to the right side. So this would turn into a positive. Uh, we would still have the plus 5x over here. And then these two, they simplify to minus 8. And then this positive 2 will bring over. It would become minus 2, like that. So we'd end up with 5x squared plus 5x minus 10 after we simplify everything. And then notice from here, let's continue this here. We could take out, we could factor out a 5 from everything. So we'd have x squared plus x. Uh, minus 2. And then notice this, we can factor that, right? What two numbers multiply to negative 2 and add up to positive 1? Well, it would be um, x plus 2, x minus 1, like that, right? This bracket factors into that right there. And so notice that we can now find out when is this whole right side going to be zero? Well, it's going to happen when x plus 2 is equal to zero or when x minus 1 is equal to zero. So that's going to happen when x is negative 2. This is going to happen when x is equal to 1. Right? So those are the two values. Those are the two solutions when f of x squared is equal to g of 5 over 3x minus 2 given f of x and g of 